What's up, everybody? It's the Bipolar Prophet, and welcome back to Old Ridge Farm in Farming Simulator 15. Ah, so it kind of started in the middle of a job here. Uh, I don't normally do that, but I figured, you know, what, doing during the uh, 1500 subscriber Q&A video, uh, which was actually episode 14 of this series, uh, I was um, hay baling up on the big field up here on the top of the map, and uh, there was so many bales. It's taken me quite a few trips to go back and forth. Obviously, as you can see, I have course play set up. Uh, to, well, maybe not obviously, uh, but I'm not that good of a driver, so I, of course, play set up to haul the bales uh, down to the beef farm where the mixing station is. Uh, this particular load will go into the mix station because we're low on hay. Um, so, uh, it's 6.36 in the morning, it's foggy, um, you know, and it's a little cloudy, but it's not too often. Uh, so, I don't really know. We have a harvest to do uh, today, so we'll probably obviously start that. Um, I have uh, taken all of the mixed rations out of the mix station. Uh, and move them into the feed storage area uh, so this thing can just keep churning out mixed rations. Uh, the cows and everything are okay, I've checked. Uh, the, the beef, cattle, the uh, pigs are all, all set. So on uh, this episode, is probably just going to be uh, running back with this and um, starting to harvest. So uh, I don't know if I'm going to time lapse this harvest or not, if I'm just going to do it. Uh, you know, I do a lot of time lapses. I know you guys enjoy them. Uh, but, I, you know, every so often I like to do just a regular harvest, I guess. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, you know, and again, this is a pretty long cart down to the down to the uh, beef farm. So I'm going to pause the video, and I will see you when we get there. So here we are coming uh, into the beef farm now, um, down through the back way, sort of. Uh, I just like this road. I like these bumpy roads. I think they're neat. And I think that's a neat detail, too, the, the big uh, power line there that kind of fell down. So I think that's kind of cool. I want to show you how many, uh, we got a lot of bales off of this field. Um, we're going to have no shortage of hay for a while. So that's good. Uh, you know, we won't have to mow for a while. Uh, we've got plenty of silage. It's not done yet, obviously. It's only about 10% fermented. So um, you can see uh, how many bales we got here. I just got to stop this guy. Let me set that course. Nope. Uh, we'll jump out here and take a look. Turn on the flashlight. It's a little foggy. You can see we got a lot of bales. Uh, you know, I got three, uh, three rows there, two rows here, and two rows here. So, quite a few bales. Uh, these here are actually going to go uh, into the uh, mix station. So I think they should all fit. I'm not 100% certain about that. Uh, I actually went up too far. I should have, I should have stopped them a little earlier. But I'll just turn it on. He says, backing up. Let's see if I can not back into the fence. I like this tractor, but it does not have a very good lock. That's kind of the only issue with it. Um, but okay, you know, we'll live with it. So. Obviously, as we go forward, as we go along, we will, you know, we'll upgrade our tractors and whatnot. Uh, but I really like this tractor, and and I got to be honest, that TW10, uh, I was, not, I liked it, uh, you know, when I first got it, uh, and then I kind of went to a phase where I wasn't crazy about it. But I got to be honest, I really like it now. So. It's kind of it's kind of growing on me. So I don't think it's going to take all these bales. That's going to be a problem. Well, if it does, it we'll just pick up the rest. I guess, assuming it doesn't drop them in some silly place. Stop. Uh oh, one thing about the old international here, she doesn't have the best brakes in the world. So all right, let's see here how this is going to go. Like I said, I don't think it's going to take them all. Uh, but hopefully it won't make the other ones, you know, do anything completely ridiculous, and we can uh, oops. we can just pick them up again. Hopefully we'll find out. Oh no, it took them all. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, so that's definitely full now. I think. Well, in fact, we'll hop out and make sure that it's full. Uh, I brought some silage down from the feed storage off screen, so that's full. Uh, let's see. It's got 29% of mixed rations in it because, like I said, I took I took all of them out. Uh, they were it was full. 38% uh, th eh, silage, 65% hay, 57% straw. Okay, so it's okay for right now. Um, we don't need the mixed rations right now, so it's in pretty good shape. So what I guess we can do is head back to the main farm and uh, get this harvest started. So, like I said, we have three fields of canola, one field of wheat, which will come down for these animals. And uh, I don't, uh, you know what, I, I'll probably, oops, probably drive through the hedge. I'll probably bale the straw. 
um, on that one field just so that we have it. You know, we don't have a ton of straw, so I don't know. Do I have a... I do, uh, do I have a course for this? Uh, let's see. I was pretty sure I did. Mixing station to farm. Yes, I did. That's me calling my courses all kinds of crazy. You know what I mean? Instead of putting them in, you know, putting them in folders and everything. You know, and having a brain. So. Okay. Uh, the Ursus Bale trailer is obviously a rental, so that will have to go back. Uh, you know, no big deal. Um, you know, I, I would pro probably going to end up having to buy one of these uh, just because of the fact that, you know, we're doing so much bailing that it just makes sense to buy one, I think. Uh, probably after this harvest, we sell this canola see how much money we have. I'd really like to buy this field over here and get this turned in as well. Uh, we have $85,494. We're not exactly broke. Uh, but, you know, again, I, I, I don't want to just spend the money, you know, willy-nilly. I want to I have a plan as much as I can have a plan for anything. So let's go ahead. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, this guy. Uh, I actually have to get him moving as well because he was on a course when I saved the last time. So let's go ahead and get him back to the, back to the farm as well. He's actually on the same course that the uh, international. So, yeah, so like I said, you know, this thing is kind of growing on me. Um, you know, I like it. Uh, one thing I noticed about it is that it is actually four-wheel drive, uh, even though it's not supposed to. Um, you know, I guess that's probably just a function of the game. I don't know how you'd actually remove the four-wheel drive system, you know. Um, if, you, if you go up a hill or you're pulling a heavy implement or whatever, you can actually see the front tires kind of spin, uh, kind of tr trying to dig in. So, you know, okay. You know, it is what it is. So it's still cool. I still like it. Um, you know, it's still a good front loader tractor. So it does everything I need it to do. And uh, for right now, it's perfect. So. You know, and, I, and you guys know I'm a big fan of the kind of worn out, you know, faded paint looking kind of tractors. So uh, if it got dirty, it would be awesome. The tires get dirty, which is nice, you know. But I'll take it the way it is. I like it. So. Didn't have any trouble pulling this big, this you know, fairly big Dazor uh, trailer either, so that was cool. Um, I should actually probably change that bodywork back now, back to the uh, to the um, regular harvest uh, grain body style, so that we can uh, harvest our grain. So I'm gonna try to use course play to run the the uh, grain back and forth from the fields. Uh, I didn't have much success with that the last time, but I am gonna try it again. So. I made quite a course here. <laughs> okay, that will work. And he'll just stop here at this point and hang out. So. All right, very good. Or he's supposed to stop there. Let me stop and reset that course. And then we can tab back to the International, which is coming in, doing the same thing. And you can just, uh, well, you know what? You can line up behind the, uh, behind the Ford. And I'll just stop you. Stop driver. Reset. Very good. And we'll disconnect from the from the Ursus, and we'll send that back. Uh, that was a, you know, again, that's, for as many bales as I had, there was no way I was going to try to put them on a trailer. Uh, I would have made a massive catastrophe out of that. I'd have been picking up bales for three months. So <laughs> go ahead and return that. Uh, yes. Okay. Very good. All right. Now we got to rent a harvester. So, might as well stay with the same, uh, the same harvester we've been using, the TC590. Um, they work really well. They're pretty good sized for this field, for these fields. So, uh, how long are we going to need this for? If I rent it for a day, it's going to cost $13,000. If I rent it for an hour, it's going to cost six seventy. dollars But I think we're going to need it for more. Uh, I'm going to rent it for four hours. Uh, you know, it's, is it going to take four hours? Probably not. But... Just to be safe, you know what I mean? So, okay. And we need the header to go with it, obviously. We need this one, the 18-footer. No sense getting any bigger one. Uh, it just doesn't make any sense. Two, three, four. That's another $568. You know, after a while, the, the cost of this rental will add up, you know what I mean? And you will get to the point where you, you know, where it's, it's not worth it to rent anymore. Uh, but for right now, it's still okay. It's the money's still not, you know... Um, is this still in the river? It is. I lost a weight in the river. I had course play drive up here uh, to pick up bales, and I forgot to put a weight point. Uh, that, you know, that this is the entrance to the field right here. 
and I forgot to put a weight point about here. Uh, so basically what it did was it got up here uh, and it went all the way around trying to turn around, you know, go, to go the quickest way back to the to the end point of the course. And it drove right through this river. It actually came down here, slid. You know, there's a bunch of trees and everything right here. Slid, got stuck in the trees. Uh, I had to do a bunch of, a bunch of you know, tree limbing and stuff to get it out uh, and then back it back up into the field. But the weight ended up staying in there. So I'll just reset that, too. So uh, that, was, that was actually really funny. Um, you know, it's one of those things that I should reset this, too. Should I have two? I don't really need two tractors, go, two... Uh, two uh, tippers going at the same time. To be honest, I don't even really need that tipper. Uh, that was sort of just a, I don't know, impulse buy, I guess. Okay. So, let's go ahead and get this thing fired up and get it in a field. And we can uh, hopefully try to set up a course play course uh, to, to run this grain back and forth, hopefully. Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. You'll see that I did buy a bale trailer over there. Um, so that's, you know, that was me thinking about maybe trying to stack all those bales uh, on a trailer up on that field. And then I just decided, you know what? No. <laughs> I wussed out again and said no. And, and so I get some beacons going here. But I will. I will put bales on the trailer, guys. I promise. I keep saying it, but I will do it. Um, you know, when? I don't know. Whenever I get this, you know, get the feeling that, oh, you know what, today's the day. I really feel like I can do it today. So, um, you know, hopefully uh, hopefully it'll go well. So, I mean, I have put bales on a trailer before. It's not, it's not like I've never done it before. Um, but, <laughs> you know, I, I'm just not very good at it. So, and I suppose if I did it more, I would be a lot better at it. But we all know how that goes with me. So, all right. And here we go into the canola field. Oh, go ahead and get this stopped, get this unfolded, and we can turn those off now, don't need those. Three hours and 58 minutes left. Go ahead and let auto combine kind of handle this. Uh, yes, I'm going to go that way, yes, and I want to do this, and yes. Off we go. Into the canola we go, so and blowing down, uh, blowing down canola straw, which is cool, you know. So we'll be able to turn that in. Okay, now, now comes the trick. I should probably move this tractor. I guess I did this. I reset this already. Yes. So, no, because uh, I don't think I'm going to use this tractor to haul the to haul the desor with. Actually, if I was smart, I would just disconnect it right there. And then we can just move this. Uh, this tractor's got plenty of horsepower, uh, but it's a little light in the front, so it um, just makes sense, I think, to use the International to haul the uh, to haul the grain trailer with. So, okay, you're doing fine. You're not going to crash into anything, I, as I remember. I think he didn't have any trouble, so. All right, now, yeah, grab this. I should probably go grab that weight, though. Oh, you know what? Let me do the course first. Let me do the course first uh, without the trailer. I'm going to take you guys' advice, uh, and David Oldfield's advice as well, about, uh, you know, anytime you're going to do a reverse course, to do it without a trailer. So uh, I'm just going to go grab this weight and then do this course, and hopefully it'll work. Um, I have done reverse courses in the past that have worked, so as long as I'm not a complete idiot, and as long as course play doesn't, you know, I don't know what it's going to try to do in these fields. I guess we will find out. And obviously, as we know, canola yield is not awesome. So it's going to take quite a while for that thing to fill up. So we should have time to do this, hopefully. Over here, grab our weight. There it is. Uh, which way is it facing? Is it facing the right way? Oh, it is. When stuff spawns in over here, it faces the right way. When it spawns in at the shop, it... Uh, oh, no, not not on this map. I'm sorry. This is this is not Amagawan Alps. What, what was I thinking there? One, two, three, four plates, I guess. That's ten. That's generally what I tend to run on the front, so. All right. Back to the field. Make this course. And hopefully it will work. If it doesn't work, well, then I'll just cart it myself. You know? Again, not a big deal. Uh, I just, I don't know. You know, I'm kind of like David Oldfield. David Oldfield had said this in one of his videos, that he likes to watch the stuff work. I'm kind of the same way. I, I'm, I'm a... Oh, it's a massive lag spike. Where's this going to end up, my tractor now? Oh, okay. Jeez. 
I've been getting really good frame rates too, and all of a sudden I just had a uh no. Let's go into the Let's do the homes. Uh I've been having really good frame rates today, and all of a sudden I just had a massive lag spike. Just locked up solid. Don't know why. Auto combine. Oh, and it turned on its lights. Yeah. So there you go. That explains that. Sometimes auto combine will do that. Uh, and you know, of course anytime it turns on its lights, it's gonna there's gonna be a lag spike. So. Okay. Now, let's try not to drive too much on the ground. Oh, the lock on this thing. It is like driving the moon. Start right about there, if it'll stop. All right, now I got too much stuff going on on the screen. Turn that off. Start course recording. Here we go. Let's see how this works. Uh, I'm going to stay right at 10 miles an hour, actually. Um, just because this road's a little bumpy. It's not that long of a trip. So, no sense flying around. Now, the trick to this is, from what I understand, uh, it's funny because I did a lot of reverse courses in Farming Simulator 2013. I never had really any issue with them. Uh, I don't know what's changed in Farming Simulator 2015. Apparently, I'm just way more of an idiot in Farming Simulator 2015. But uh, apparently, the idea here is to back all the way up. Um, you know, and then the tractor, when when there's a trailer on it, course play will find the, the tip trick uh, and, and not back all the way into the you know, into the wall or whatever. So this little turn, that's the only problem with this. So come up here, try to get straight. I want to be as straight as possible. Stop there, and then, uh, let's see, reverse, just back straight up, or mostly straight up, go back all the way back to the, to the grate here, that will do, that will do, and then forward again, Oh, we go. So back to 10. And if I'm smart, I'm not going to try to squeeze back through that. I'll just go around the other way. I think that makes a lot more sense. I'm only using one tractor to do this, uh, just because you're not going to really need two tractors, you know. Um, canola yield is not great, so it's not like the thing's going to fill up every five minutes. So, uh, I don't know that I should be driving through this thing all the time, but I do, so I could go around, but whatever. Will I wash these tractors at some point? I wouldn't count on it. <laughs> you guys know me. Uh, the dirtier they are, the better. I, and I do understand the, the concept of a clean tractor. I really do. Uh, but I don't know. I just I think it's one of those cool things that you know Farming Simulator 15 offers that I just I really want to use. I'll probably clean them at some point. Uh, now, I'm going to loop this course around, even though you don't technically have to. I just like to. Uh, you know, because that's the way I've always done it. So now, of course, unfortunately, to make that happen, I'm going to have to drive through. But that's okay. And it's, again, this thing. You know, I mean, look at the turning radius on this thing. It is not a T6. It's not horrible, obviously, but it is not a T6. So, oops, stop before I get past where I want to go. Uh, am I past the? I am. Arg. Well, that's why they have a pause feature. So you can uh, you can back up you know you can erase some uh, some waypoints. So, all right, that'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Turn that back on. I would like to see if I get one more waypoint in between here, just so there's not so much of a gap. Let's see. One more. Yep, that'll do. That'll do. Okay. And stop recording. Okay. Uh, and this is field. Uh, I call these fields 25 and 26. So I'm just going to, because I'll use the same course for both fields, I'm going to call them F2526, unload to silo. Very good. Enter. Okay. Uh, now, i got to go get a trailer. So we'll go ahead and uh, get rid of that for a minute. Go get a trailer. And I mean, this, you see this thing's been around a field three times now. It's, it's just 74% full. So obviously, uh, you know, not... Uh, not a massive yield, but okay. You know, we'll uh, 
we'll take it. Hopefully, it's selling for good money. You know, I could always put it in a silo now. I can, I can afford to kind of let stuff sit till money comes up. But um, there's a couple things I want to buy. So, a couple things I think I think it makes sense to buy now. So, oh, this road though, a lot of fun. Gotta love it. Gotta love watching it. You know, that's one. That's one of the things about watching. You know, the the uh, the tractors do its thing. You know what I mean? Watching it kind of you know undulate up and down over the bumps and all that. I just I think that's so much fun. So, all right, so we'll grab the Dazur and we'll get him going on his course, and then we'll you know we'll watch it and see what a disaster turns into. I'm so negative, huh? You'd think, oh, you know, it's just going to work good and blah, blah, blah. I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not that confident. Oh, easy. I could have left this in a more inconvenient spot, especially with this just terrible turning tractor. I know I could go in and fix it, um, but, but I'm afraid to screw it up, so I'm just afraid of a lot of things, huh? I'm not normally a nervous person. I don't know what it is. I think because... Because it's it's out of my realm of experience, you know. Um, to go in and, and do some texture work or to go in and maybe, you know, uh, add like a beacon, say, or something like that. Yeah, no problem. But to get into the XML, really, and start to start to kind of mess with it, I don't know. I'd hate to break the tractor, you know. It, it, it is cool, so I'll just live with it, you know. Because uh, could you, you know, and I know, and, 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 and this is no disrespect to David Oldfield by any means. He's awesome. And, you know, keep up all, you know, he should definitely do what he does. Um because it's just great. But, I don't know, You could you go in, in, in a real tractor and change the turning radius? Within reason, you can. Within, you know, a very small amount, you can. But, I don't know, whatever, right? Whatever. <laughs> oh, looks like the, uh, looks like the harvester's getting full. So. And we're going to have to drive through the crop again. Nope, we're not going to, not going to make that turn, that's for sure come over here and swing all the way around. Okay. We should be able to make it down. This thing just does not have a very good turning radius. You know, and, I'm, and, I, and I've said that now, what, nine times, so I think you guys get the point. Okay, and we need to put this on combi mode or combine mode. Uh, no automatic search. We only have one combine anyway, so not like it's going to have a hard time finding it. I always started at nearest waypoint. Uh, let me just make sure this is all set. Automatic from course field speed, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, reversing speed three miles an hour, that's fine. Um, make sure it's like 50 and 90, it is. And drive course. Okay. Now what it's going to do is it's going to run the course. Uh, I did that on purpose. I could have, I could have brought it up and had it start at the first waypoint and go straight to unload the uh, the harvester but I want to watch and see what this is going to do and make sure it's going to be okay. Now, the only problem with this being empty is it's going to try to back all the way back up uh, because it's empty, but I want to make sure it's actually going to back up. So, geez, I think 10 miles an hour might be a little fast. That'd be a bumpy ride, huh? Especially in a tractor probably without, you know, without a lot of seat suspension and stuff. Uh, honestly, I don't know if this tractor would have seat suspension. Uh, I know it doesn't have cab suspension. Uh, if anybody knows the answer to that, please let me know curious to know. Is that be a bumpy ride? Okay. Just stop about here. Back up. You definitely don't want this backing up very fast. Any more than this, it would just be a giant nightmare. Uh, three miles an hour is perfect. So. Okay. Now, is it going to try to back all? It's going to try to back all. No, it's not. It got to the edge. It knows it's empty, so now it's just going to continue. Okay, very good. Looks like that's going to work. So, awesome. Now, the only concern is, how many times is it going to get stuck in the field? <laughs> you know? Um, but at least this part works, so that's good. I probably should have cleaned this Dazor, too. This Dazor is getting pretty filthy. Uh, and, you know, we are hauling grain, so... Oh well. So probably what I'll do is I'll probably uh, we'll probably uh, harvest these two fields 
uh, 25 and 26 over here um, on screen, and then I'll do the wheat off screen, and then we'll bale it uh, in the next episode. Um, you know, and get this straw uh, kind of put put around to where it needs to go. So I don't need straw anywhere just yet on any of the animals, but it'd be nice to have a little stock now because I don't have very much. So it'd be nice to have a little bit. That's unfortunate he has to drive the crop, but oh well. You know, okay. A little concession to the game. So. Answer this thing's, you know, just horrendous turning circles. Say it again! Oh. Alright, now give it a second to find the combine. And there it goes. Drive behind combine. Now, here comes the trick. Obviously, he's going to drive through the crop. Obviously, you know, course play. It tries not to, obviously, but when it doesn't have any choice, it doesn't have any choice. So, we'll just go ahead and see what he's going to do here. Let's see if he's going to try to do anything dumb, or he shouldn't, because... He's in a good location, right, sort of in the middle of the field. So he doesn't have to worry about, you know, making any tight turns around trees and all that sort of stuff. So it should work out just fine. And there we go. Unloading the canoe. We'll probably get... Uh, I would guess we'll probably get somewhere around 30, 40,000 liters off of these three fields. Maybe not 40, maybe 30. Uh, again, not very much, but okay, you know, the money will be, will be okay. Uh, you know, and then we'll figure out what to plant next, um, after these fields are harvested. So, you know, I'd like to do the field, ro the, the crop rotation thing, you know, I really would, but I don't, I'd have to do some research on it, or I could just copy David Oldfield, I guess. And I'm trying really hard not to do that. I'm trying not to, uh, of course. This is another thing now, though. Sometimes, because obviously he's waiting for the combine to move. The combine is waiting for him to move. So, I'll just move him myself. There we go. And you can just sit there now and wait for the combine. Now, why isn't the combine moving? Why isn't the combine moving? I swear, sometimes... Why don't you go? Alright, I will turn, I will turn you on. I will turn you back on. What's the story? Okay. Uh. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can get him back on his way. I don't know. I don't know what it is with me some days. Some days everything works good. Other days everything just goes to hell, and I don't know why. I don't know why. All right. Oop, easy. That's a tree. All right. Let's try this again. Let's see if we can get Auto Combine to, to cooperate with us here. And I want to go uh, this way. Auto, yes. Round and round. We'll be fine. What's the dilemma here? What, what is going on with Auto Combine? Why won't, it, uh, why won't it go? <laughs> well, here you go, guys. Just when you thought you weren't going to get another fumbly video from the Bipolar Prophet, surprise, 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 here's another fumbly video from the Bipolar Prophet. What is going on here? I don't really understand what the, uh, what the dilemma here is. No, I can't even turn the head on. Did I crash? Or am I still on? I'm still on this way. Okay. You know what? We're going to do it ourselves. That's fine. We'll just do it ourselves. Uh, I, I do not want to spend, you know, X amount of hours figuring out what Auto Combine's major malfunction is today. So, I don't know what it is. I must have some sort of mod. I, gotta, I guess it's going to be another dump every mod in my mod folder uh, kind of deal because... I must have a mod in my mod folder that's just causing everything to go crazy. My, you know, my pedal's not working, uh, you know, my steering wheel, um, you know, auto combine being ridiculous. So, I don't know. Um, we will see, I suppose. But in the meantime, I'll just drive the combine myself. That's fine. I don't do it hardly ever. So, why not? And, uh, you know, canola is kind of an easy crop to harvest, so there's no straw to really worry about. You know, wind rows and all that, so. I'll just do it myself. Plus, I don't have time. You know, three hours and 42 minutes left on a rental. 
I don't have time to be to be messing around. So I'm going to switch back to this so I can raise this and turn around. Lower this, and off we go. So I guess maybe I'll do that today at some point. I will spend, you know, an hour or so uh, going through my mods and getting rid of all the ones that I'm A, not using, and B, that I think may be funky. Um, so there's a good chance you may or may not see a mod. Uh, you, if you're used to seeing a mod, you may not see it anymore. Because uh, to be honest, I, you know, I need a smooth running game. I can't have, you know, fumbly with me, you know, whoa, 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 whoa. I forgot it picks back up to speed again when you uh, lift the head. Uh, fumbly, you know, with me being fumbly is one thing. I I'm okay with that, you know. Like, okay, well, you know, you're an idiot. And you're doing this wrong or whatever. That's fine. But fumbly with as far as mods and stuff where it's causing things to not work right or causing other things to not work at all, yeah, I'm not having that, so... To be honest, I just soon get them, get rid of them all. Um, I'll be I'm not impressed, and I've said this. There are a couple of really good mods out there, um, you know, vehicle mods. There are a lot of really good scripts out there, but overall, I have not been super impressed with the mods for Farming Simulator 15 yet. Now we all know they're going to get better. They're going to get you know more detailed, more functions and features and everything else, and that's awesome. And I and I'm looking forward to that. But for right now, you know, to be honest, they're not really. Uh, they're not really, uh, you know, getting me all excited just yet, so. Because I seem to have more problems with mod conflicts, you know, in this game than I ever did in Farming Simulator 13. You know, obviously I had some mod conflicts in, in, in Farming Simulator 13, but nothing on the, on the scale and the regularity that I have here, so. And in fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try this again. I'm going to switch to the right thing. I'm gonna so let's see if Auto Combine can figure this out now. You know what I you know what I should do too is I should turn that off in between. Nope. It just it doesn't want to go. I, I don't know why. I don't know what I'm doing wrong uh, to make it not want to go. But okay, so let's try this. Turn this off. Turn this off. One more thing. Why not? Uh, I want to go that way. Yes, I want to go up and down. I want to do this, and I want to do this. Hmm. I wonder if I'm doing something wrong, or if... Hmm. Yeah, it just doesn't want to go. Oh, well. Okay. Very good. Turn that on. Jeez. I don't know. I, I don't know. I didn't have... I've had... The last time... The last harvest that we did here uh, on uh, Old Ridge Farm didn't have any trouble with it. Uh, didn't have any trouble with it on Amagower Alps. Uh, it worked just fine. So I'm not really sure what the problem is. Oh. Maybe it's me. Uh, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Obviously, you guys... But, you know, you guys have been watching me fiddle with this. If you see, you know, something that I'm doing wrong, by all means, please leave it in the comments. You know, uh... I will, uh, I will try to, you know, I'll definitely take your advice, you know, whatever makes this work, so, you know, there's nothing really worse than having a mod that, you know, does something that really, you know, makes your life easier, and then you can't use it, <laughs> you know, because you either don't understand it fully, which is probably the case here, I probably just don't understand it fully, you know, um, in fact, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to square this field off a little bit, so that I can... And I know it's silly, just drive the combine yourself, but I'm going to let the hired worker uh, do the last bit of this, uh, the regular hired worker, so. I hope. No. So, that up, and turn around. Not through the hedge and not through the side. Okay, now, let's get this kind of lined up here a little bit, and uh, make sure this is off. Yep, turn that off, and then hit H. Let's see if it works at all. Let's see if hard worker works. Oh, yeah, regular hard worker works just fine. 
I don't know. I, I really honestly don't know what's causing the problem. So I guess I'll have to do some uh, some research on that. I know sometimes... You know what it could have been? It could have been that course play was in the way in that Auto Combine didn't really know. And, of course, you know, hired worker. Nope, not going to worry about that little bit right there. Um, and if course play's in the way, obviously uh, Auto Combine won't go. Auto Combine needs a lot of room to move around, right? So if it's in the way, if, you know, if, if, the, if the tractor's in the way, uh, maybe because I moved it and it, course play didn't talk to Auto Combine to tell it it was okay to go, so it just never went. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. You know, that could be a stretch. Who, who knows? Uh, I don't know. Regular hired worker seems to be working, so, okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Now, we're getting to be uh, 47, 47%, so course play will be wanting to come along and empty us out here before too much longer. That tipper won't be full till we're probably halfway through that field. Uh, but, so that's good. The less trips, you know, the better. The less, the less kind of si here he comes. The less you know silliness that could probably happen. Uh, he's actually going to stop here, so I'm going to, I'm going to have to take over uh, and turn him around. So, but I'll of course my empty him out first. Uh, you know, would you be harvesting this early in the morning? Probably not, with the dew and everything and the moisture. But, you know, why not? This is the time I got to do it, so I'm going to do it. Thank you, crazy camera. Yeah, he'll probably make three or four passes around this other field before this thing ever gets full. Uh, what does it hold? 19? Is it 17,000 with the regular grain body? So. Okay, course play. Uh, you can, uh, are you going to move? No, nope, you're just going to hang out there. Okay, that's fine. There goes course play now. You know, one thing about the, you know, about it wanting to be, you know, where the combine is all the time. I don't really, that's kind of a new feature, uh, this waiting to waiting position is free thing. Um, you know, because obviously it goes to a random waypoint in the field. You know, uh, that course play assigns to it. Uh, of course, here we go. Here we go. Yep. Uh, I should have guessed this was going to happen. Ugh. Drove all the way out of the field through the hedge just to turn around. And that's not necessarily course play's fault. That is definitely, you know, the tractor not having a great turning radius. Uh, you know, that's that's unfortunately part of that deal, so. I should probably use that Ford. That Ford's actually got a really good turning radius, so. Maybe I will have to swap out the uh, the tractors, put the Ford on the um, on a Desor or so. Go ahead and get turned around, get this last bit. We'll get him in the other field, see if he, uh, see if, if Auto Combine's managed to reset itself or whatever. You know, I, it, it's funny. I, I get it, the kind of my shtick and my thing is, you know, the silliness and, and all that. Uh, but it would be nice to have one episode where nothing dumb happened. I guess that's just not meant to be with me, so. You know, where I just turned auto combine on and it worked. Where I, you know, where I set up a course and it worked. I, I don't know. I mean, the course works, you know. It's just trying to get, trying to get around the, you know, the outside of the, the world there to turn around, so. All right, I'm an idiot, so I'm going to try this again. Obviously, I'm going to go round and round. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Yep, he'll drop the head, but he just won't go. I remember I had this problem before, but I don't remember what I did to solve it. Probably just reset the tractor. Probably reset the game. I mean, right. Okay, very good. You don't want to go? You don't want to go. No. But we got to cut some headlands into this field before I let even attempt to let the hired worker go. So let's do that. Just drive the combine, BP. It's not so bad. You are a farmer. I mean, this is what you're supposed to be doing. So. I'm sure probably, you know, after I save, uh, you know, close the game down and come back, uh, Auto Combine will be fine. I guess it just needs to be reset or whatever. I don't know. So, um, 
But I am still going to go through my mods. I have a lot of mods in the folder that I'm not using. They're just taking up space. Why, you know, why keep them? I wish this great A would go away. I wish the sun would come out. Obviously, if it's going to rain, we want to get this done as quickly as possible. I don't know if it's going to rain or not. I could check the weather. Um, you know, in fact, I probably should do that. I should probably be more of a farmer, uh, you know, and, and do things like check the weather and stuff like that. So let's do that. Let's, uh, no, nope, need to go this way. This way, this way, this way, this way. Weather. Uh, today, uh, nope, it's just going to be cloudy. It's going to be sunny tomorrow and Thursday. That's good. It's going to rain on Saturday. Okay. So hopefully don't have, try not to have a harvest on Saturday. Obviously, in the real world, you wouldn't. You wouldn't have a, you wouldn't have a, a crop in the ground, you know, on Wednesday and have it be ready to harvest on Saturday. It just doesn't work that way, so. But in the game, I'm going to have to try to remember to not have another crop in the ground. So. Obviously, these fields are going to need to be, uh, you know, replanted and everything, so. I may cultivate them to see if this canola straw actually fertilizes the, the ground or not. Uh, you know, and then if it does, great. Uh, if it doesn't, well, obviously we'll have to fertilize again. So, you know, we're getting, you know, we're, we're making some liquid manure now. We're making some, some solid manure. So we're getting to the point now where, uh, you know, we're going to be able to use that stuff uh, before long. So uh, probably end up using, uh, obviously, the liquid, save the solid for, oh, I don't know what I'm saving it for. Uh, the greenhouses, I guess. Uh, but I'm still not 100% certain I want to put them where I cut down all the trees. So I was all about that when I did it. Now I'm like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll figure it out. So. Honestly, this might be the most manual combining I've done since uh, me and the Scottish gaming guy played on Drayton Farm. <laughs> And I drove the combine all up on the one massive field up there. I don't remember which field it was. Uh, big barley field, anyway. Um, and uh, I drove, you know, about three hours worth of combine that day. So, And this is probably the most I've done since. Because, uh, you know, on Bjorn Home, I didn't really do it. Uh, on Amargawa Alps, I haven't done it. I've been letting Auto Combine kind of handle it so while I do other things. Uh, but, you know what? It's fun. It's fun to do stuff once in a while. And I've said this before. I probably rely way too much on automation. Course play, hired workers, auto combine, you know. Um, I probably rely way too much on that kind of stuff. You know, auto stack trailers for bales, things like that. Um, and I probably should start doing more stuff myself. Uh, you know, because, I mean, that's the idea. And somebody had met, you know, and I think it was, uh, I believe it was Martin Garner who said this. Uh, you know, he was like, well, you know, too much automation to turn the game from farming simulator into farm manager. And you're right. You're absolutely right. Where everything is just doing its own thing and you're just kind of monitoring it. You know, but there are times when I just enjoy watching this equipment work. So, but okay, you know, do some of the work yourself once in a while. Stop being so lazy. <laughs> now, I really like to get over to the other side of this field before it gets to 50%. Uh, so the course play doesn't, you know, try to drive all the way around through the world here. You know, through the hedges, through the signs, through the trees, through the village to try to make a turn to come unload. You know, one way to kind of avoid that, too, is if you're driving a combine yourself is, like, I could, like, watch, I'll do this. I'll stop right here, right? I'll, I'll uh, turn this off for a minute. I'll put this out. I'll right-click. I'll go to this, and I'll go request driver. And that will bring him to me now instead of, you know, making him wait or making me wait until I'm, you know, around the corner by a hedge at 50%. At least here, he should, although I, I, I guarantee he's going to drive into this tree. He should be able to make this turn, but probably not. <laughs> we'll find out. Let's watch. Okay, start turning. Start turning. There you go. There you go. Good job. Good job. Right at the edge of the hedge. Perfect. You did it. Nice work. See, every so often, course play will, uh, will surprise you. 
And Chris Play's probably mad at me because all I do is talk shit about it. So <laughs> it's probably like, you know what, I've had enough of you. You want to keep calling me an idiot? Watch this. I'll be an idiot. Oh, the dessert is going to be seventy percent full. So okay, you know, a little bit better than than I was than I originally stated, but you know it's still going to be about the same. It's still going to be you know I'm going to make one more pass uh, or a couple more passes actually, you know before uh, this thing needs to be emptied again, and then the dessert will be close enough to full to make its trip over to the silos. A little light glare there from the international's lights. Jeez, those lights though. Those lights are bright. The only problem is, where's that glare actually coming from? Is it coming off the mirrors? Is that what's is that what's happening? That must have been what it was. It was coming off the mirrors, or it was because it couldn't come through the back of the combine, obviously. So, yep. and now the international's trying to get to its weight point, so or its waiting point, waiting for me to get to fifty percent again. Hopefully, it doesn't, you know, decide it needs to wait in, you know, I don't know, the hedge or whatever. It usually doesn't. I mean, obviously, it waits in the field. Uh, it's just whether or not it can make the turn. You know, that's that's the bottom line. And that's not course place fault. That's, you know, the tractor. The tractor turning radius, so. It is kind of relaxing, combining. Uh, it's, it, it's more relaxing on a big field where you're just going straight up straight down, you know what I mean? Uh, and you don't have to make a lot of turns and stuff, but it's still it's still relaxing. I will give a lot of credit to real life farmers, guys who do this, you know, who are in these things 12, 15, 16, 18 hours a day, you know, I I don't know. I couldn't I don't think I could do it. I I know I couldn't do it. Well, I I don't know. I say I know I couldn't do it. I suppose if that was my job, I'd do it, you know. Um, I don't know. I'd probably fall asleep. <laughs> I mean, how do you, you know, I don't know. Um, you know, I put, in, I put in a lot of long days in my life. I mean, don't get me wrong. But, you know, I, I, I don't know. This, these things are, you know, really comfortable and they're, you know, and, and they've got all kinds of amenities now. And, you know, I don't know. I guess you just crank up the, crank up the music and, uh, and get on it, you know. Oh, I guess that's the, that's the idea, so. Yeah, I was going to let the hired worker do this, but you know what? I'll just finish it myself. That's fine. It's silly. Why Why waste the money? Just drive the combine. You don't really have much else going on right now, so just drive the combine. This field's not that big. You know, realistically, I could have, I could have just made a, a course for him to run, you know, to the to the um, silo and dump and leave him sit there, and me just drive to him. You know, I guess, and and obviously that happens in real life too, where fields are you know unwieldy and and hard to get in and out of with tractors and stuff. I guess that probably would have made you know the most sense for me to do that. In this case, I don't always, you know, I, you know, as you guys know, I don't always, don't always use my head. So. I'm always amazed how fast these things back up. tripping. It's 7, uh, 7, 22 in the morning. Uh, as you can see, it's 12, almost 12.30 in the real world, so uh, on a Sunday, uh, I'm trying to get this recording, uh, you know, get it done, get it uh, edited and rendered uh, for tomorrow, for Monday for you guys, so. 
haven't been on Old Ridge in uh, what's it been a few days, right? So, uh, and Lagara Alps obviously will be coming back. Uh, more ETS, um, you know, and uh, some other stuff too. Probably uh, this week. So, should be a good week for the channel. I hope. Hope you guys had a good weekend. I uh, hope you guys are going to have a great week. Um, or well, by the time you watch this, are having a great week. Yeah, I would not want to try to have to get the big head, uh, the big, like, 45-footer around these fields. I think that would be silly. I think this is just about the right size. Now, there's a couple of bigger fields, obviously. Uh, but I still think this is about the right size head, so... Fifty percent, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to let him... I'm gonna, oh, nope. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Come on. There you go. And I'm plenty far enough down the field that you should be able to make a turn to get in, to uh, get under the pipe. So, all right. So I guess that's what I'm going to have to do from now on. I'm just going to have to be smart. Uh, and you guys are going to have to constantly remind me to be smart th to, uh, you know, kind of make course play's job a little easier. Um, you know, maybe I'll drive the harvester and, uh, you know, then I can just stop at where course play can make a turn. So. In fact, what I think I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to call this an episode right here. Uh, you know, again, trying to keep these episodes at a reasonable length. Uh, what I might do is, uh, we'll probably finish this harvest in the next episode, uh, bail up all the straw and everything, uh, and then get that down, you know, around where it needs to go. So, what I'd really like to do is, I'd like to, hopefully this thing gets to about 90%. Uh, I'd like to watch it make its run to the silos. Uh, now, I don't know if it's actually going to or not. I'll probably have to send it. Um, let me back this out. I'll just back this out of the way. And now let's see. Turn it off. And let's see what uh, what good old course play here decides to do. Because you never know. You never know. You never know. Now what he should do, because he's over 90% full, is he should come over here, right? Uh, go, go to the start point and then go to the side. Let's hope he does that. Now of course he's going to start. Now luckily... This is a pretty wide area, so he's got plenty of room to turn. So, okay. There you go. Got the beacons on. Going to make the turn. Yep. Very good. 10 miles an hour. Or 11 miles an hour. Fast enough. Watch it. Watch it from this angle. Still haven't got my mouse yet. Don't know what's wait. Don't know. I don't know what they're waiting for. Everything I buy is out of stock. I don't. I swear. Wah, wah, wah. BP, all you do is complain. Gee, shut up. I know, right? It's it's horrible. Oh, there's there's the there's one of the there's one of the red and yellow monkeys right there. The two red and yellow monkeys that sit on my on my shoulders. I don't have an angel and the devil. I have two yellow and red monkeys, as you guys have seen by my my uh, channel logo, and they're both just you know nattering at me all the time. Shut up. All you do is complain. Geez, you're an idiot. I don't have the happy one. <laughs> Jeez, it's Sunday morning, BP. Do you have to do that? See? They never stop. Okay, cool. So this is going to work. Hey, BP made a course that actually works. Oh, very good. Get on the load. Perfect. All right. I want to thank everybody uh, who's left me comments about how to do that. Uh, I want to thank David Oldfield for, uh, you know, showing in the video how to uh, make a reverse course that actually works. So that's awesome. Thank you very much. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm actually just going to stop here. Right here. Stop. Might as well reset that, and I'll set it back up again in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, you know, like I said, in the next episode, we'll finish up the harvest. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll bail up the straw on that one wheat field that we have. We'll bring the grain around to the animals, uh, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do from there. As always, guys, thank you so much, uh, you know, for coming to the channel, for liking, subscribing, commenting. Uh, you guys are awesome. You guys all know that. You know how much it means to me. Um, and thank you for making me a part of your YouTube day. And this is the Bipolar Prophet saying, see you later. Thank you.